in this video let us understand the opening the files for reading as well as write operations let us create new files and write the plain text onto them also we read the files and append the files with additional content then we write python script to save the variables as well as the data structures onto the files with the help of python shell module as well as pprint module finally we write a simple programs to create a files as well as folders open files for reading writing and to append the file contents and to have a demonstration of uh, saving the variables onto file with the shell module file reading and writing process we have two types of files one is plain text file that contain basic text characters and do not include any font size color and other information text files have the .txt exchange extension for example python script file is a text file which has got .py extension these are all examples for plain text files second category is a binary files which are all other type of files like word processing files portable document format files images spreadsheets and all the executable program files in python there are three main steps to read or write onto files first is calling the open method to create a file object and second is a call to read or write method on the file object in case of reading just read method is enough if you want to write onto the file then write method and finally one need to close the file by calling a close method on the file object and the significance of open method or function is to create a space in the main memory for the file to be opened and to return the file handler or file object and closing the significance of close method is to transfer the contents of a file which is there in the main memory back to the secondary storage and thereby to update the secondary uh, storage with that file name subsequently it destroys the file handler or even uh, or the file object reading the file contents the file object represents a file in computer that is in the main memory and it is also a type of value in python if you want to read the entire contents of a file as a single string value one need to use the method read here is an example the file handler this is hello file is a file handler or file object dot read will read the entire content of a file and assign it to a string variable and if you think that contents of a file is a single large string value then read method will return a string that is stored in a file and alternatively if you think that the file is is a too large contains so many lines then one can use this read lines method to get the list of string values that is list of lines from a file one string each for each line of text 
Note that each string value ends with the new line character except the last line of the file. And this read lines method is useful and often easier to work with uh, than the single large string value as one can as uh, one can search for the interesting patterns line by line than searching along with the entire file at once. Here is an example. We open the text file, the method open, and then we use a method read lines, which read all the lines present in a file, and it returns a list of lines. The Python also allows us to write content to a file in a similar way how we print the function. Here we use a function called write and also the strings are written not onto the screen. The strings are written onto the main memory and finally they are transferred to the secondary memory with the close method. In order to write content onto a file, we need to open the file in a write mode or append mode. The write mode will overwrite the existing file and starts from scratch and uh, to have this mode we have to use the argument w as a second argument in the open method. An append mode on the other hand will append the existing file at the end of the file and we need to pass a as a second argument to the open method while opening the file in append mode. If the file name passed to open does not exist, then both write and append mode will create a totally new blank file for writing. Let us take up the examples. In the first example, we open a file on a write mode. W is the second argument in the open method. And we use a write method and we write a string with new line character. Total is 13 characters including the new line. And finally we close the file. The second example we open a file on a append mode and uh, we write onto the file that means the contents the argument here on the right are appended at the end of the existing file and uh, total size of the character is 25 after write operation and we close the file. And finally here we open the file in a read mode because that is the default mode if you don't specify R and we read all the contents of a file at once and we print the contents and uh, we, can, we can close the file. This is how we can open a file for reading, writing, appending and we can process the files by reading the useful information or data and as well as write the uh, new item data items onto the file with the write method. We can save different variables of the programs to binary shelf files using shelf module or library. The program later can restore the data to variables from the hard drive. The shell module will allow the programmer to add, save and open features to the program. To read and write a data variables using shell module, first we need to import shell module to the program. The function shell.open will take the argument which is a file name which is then creates a shell value in a variable nothing which is something like a file handler or file object. Then we can make changes to the shell value like a dictionary. We can add the variables values with like a key and value pair 
and then finally we can close the shell value with the close method here is a simple program we create a shell we import the shell module then we create a shell variable called shell file with the function open and we are going to create a name for the file shell file that is called my data and this is a shell value and this is a variable this is a variable which is a list cats is a variable and we want to store this variable which is a list onto the file what we have to do is we have to add this variable onto the shell file by using shell value that is shell file of this is key key is nothing but variable name we can have other names also need not be the same name equal to this list name list value and finally we have to close this shelf value this is how we can save the variables onto the file and later we can whenever a need arises we can retrieve those variable values to the programs after executing the previous program on windows we will see three new files which will appear in the current working directory that is my data dot backup file data file and dir directory file my data is actually the file name that we had supplied to the shelf dot open method these binary files contain the data that we have stored in the file in the shelf the programs later can use the shell module to reopen and retrieve the data from these shelf files note that shelf values don't have to be opened in read or write mode once we open a shell value we can perform both read and write operation without specifying any the any mode of read or write here is a program which demonstrate the concept of read and write we open a already created a shelf with the file my data and we create a shell value and we display the type of the shelf value and we can also retrieve the values of the variable that has already saved in the shell file and the key we had used is a cats and you can see the list that is that appear on the command prompt and the same time we can even create a new we can store new variables onto the same shell file for the later uh, access and finally once all these read and write operations are done remember to close this shelf file through the shelf value or a shelf file handler just like dictionaries shelf values have keys and values methods which will return a list like structures of keys and values present in the shelf these methods will return just a list like structures instead of true list and if you want to create a true list pass these uh, return values from keys or values uh, method to a list function so that we can we can process uh, or we can use the list method on the data that is received from the keys and values methods here is a simple program we open the shell value with the file mi data and we retrieve all the keys of the shell value and then we pass the return values as an argument to the list function which will create the true list not the just a list like uh, structure 
Similarly, we can create the list of values through list and finally we can close the uh, shell value. Remember that we can always save the plain text by creating a files either in write mode and we can even use the text editor such as notepad or text edit to save the plain text and suppose you want to save the data of the program then a shell module is a best option wherein you can directly save the values of variables or the complex data structures directly onto the shell module this is the, the great advantage of having this uh, shell module in Python environment. In Python, we can create a modules containing the variable data. This is achieved with pprint module. The function p format of pprint module will allow us to store a string in a file with the extension py and this file becomes the own module for the program which can be imported whenever there is a need for the variables which are stored in the, in the form of string representation. Let us take up the example. For this we need to import a pprint module and we have a dictionary, a list of dictionaries here, CADS is a list having two dictionaries. This is first dictionary and this is second dictionary and you can see this is a uh, key value pair. Each here first dictionary has got two key value pairs and even second dictionary has two key value pairs. And we have to create a string representation of this dictionary with the uh, pprint or p format. Okay. And uh, we have to create a file for writing. For example, uh, mycats.py should be .py as we are going to create a library and we open it in a write mode. And we write this string what we generate with the p format onto the file with the variable name that is a cats this cats need not be same as this you can specify any name for the convenience better to have a same name as we store this as a variable which may be accessed in future by importing the module called mycats.py cats equal to this is the variable name that we are going to store onto the file and this is the string representation what I told you earlier p format will generate the string representation like this of the dictionary and finally let us close the file and uh, remember we need to import pprint to use uh, to save is uh, variables in the form of string and uh, to create a string format of the complex data structure or a variable we need to use p format function of p print in the previous example we saved the list called cats in the file and even after we close the file the variable can be used by importing the file name as a module that is called import mycats.py. Let us uh, take up the example. As I said, the Python scripts are uh, text files where, where uh, the file extension is py and uh, we can generate the variable and we can store the variable onto py files. 
and in order to access these uh, variables we need to import the file what we had created earlier and uh, you can access the individual items of this variable cats cat sub 0 will return a first dictionary cat sub 1 returns the second dictionary and cat sub 0 with the key name returns uh, this uh, value as because uh, as uh, the the list contains a, a dictionary items where each item is a key value pair this is how you can create your own libraries of data and uh, you can without opening the file you can access the variable values just by importing the file name containing the data variable that's what uh, we say even though the file is closed we can access the variable that is stored in a file only thing is we need to import that file a library which we have created in order to access the individual data items through uh, indexing of a list or indexing of dictionary the benefits of uh, creating .py file as a library is that py file is a text file and the contents of file can be read and modified by anyone at any time with a simple text editor you don't have to always use the uh, programming interface to access or modify the contents and most of the applications uh, however the saving data using self self module is a preferred way and uh, with this method mechanism only we can save the basic uh, data types like integers floats strings list dictionary etc but with respect with the help of py you can store the the complex data structures also let us now take the programming exercises the first program is to read a file which is available in the current working directory we take up a text file and we try to count the occurrences of words present in the text file already a similar program we have uh, executed in the dictionary chapter let us combine the use the data structures like lists and uh, and the concept of set to to solve this problem here is a program first we import the os module and uh, we need to get the path of the file what we have to do is first we let us get the path of the current working directory by using the method get cwd it gives me the current working directory and then we know this that this is a plain text file that is from dot txt we concatenate this file onto the current working directory and this becomes the file name the complete path that means it's an absolute path okay and uh, now we create uh, one list empty list to store all the uh, distinct uh, words okay and uh, then we open a file in a read mode and uh, we re read the file contents line by line and for each line you create a list of words a split function based on the split it creates a list of words and for each of the word in the list of words 
what we have to do is we have to remove the white spaces if at all present left and right side and then we check whether that word is an is a contains alphabets by using the function is alpha if it is a alphabet we will put that word onto the list of words finally the list li contains all the words even with the repetition okay even duplicate words present in a file without any no punctuation no special characters and once we have a list of uh, words what we have to do is we have to create a set containing only the distinct words what i have to do is i have to use a constructor with the method uh, the set set is a method which will takes the list as an argument and generates a generates the uh, set having only the distinct word no duplicates and for each of these distinct words in a set we just call a method count on the list data structure li dot count of word this gives me the frequency of that particular word which is present in a set remember this set contains only the distinct words and li contains the duplicate words also and this count method gives me the total number of occurrences of a particular word and with that we get the uh, frequency of each of the word present in a file this is how we can solve this problem with the help of a count method which is associated with the list and creating a set of uh, Uh, distinct words by using uh, method uh, set again set is a data structure in python and uh, we have we used uh, some of the uh, string handling methods like is alpha strip split etc the second program is to create a text file inside the folder sum which need to be created under the current working directory and uh, the file what we are going to create is a plain text file wherein we read the contents for a file from the console keyboard and we write on to it till we uh, supply uh, some uh, character or a word to stop the reading of uh, file contents here is a program we obtain the path of the current working directory and then we use a function called make dirs which will create a subfolder under the current working directory called sum under that we have to create a file and uh, in order to create a file we read the file name from the user we ask the user to enter the file name and now this file name variable contains the complete path of the file to be created and in order to create a file we need to open the file with the file name that's a absolute path on write mode and then use a looping construct to read the file contents from the keyboard we use a function input to read the contents and uh, we start reading contents from here at this content this will read a first line and subsequent lines are read and uh, we use a write function on the file handle this is file is a file handle which writes the content onto the file and uh, while writing we have to write the new line as a part of the line and uh, finally upon termination of this we have to close the file so that the contents which are pointed by the file handle in the main memory are transferred back to the secondary memory that is onto the permanent storage this is how we can create a text file by reading the contents from the keyboard uh, by specifying the uh, actual path uh, for the uh, file storage 
program to extract the last 20 characters present in a text file, a small text file. Here we try to read the file contents at once since we deal with the small file. We open a file on the read mode and the read method will read all the contents of a file and assign it to a string variable and then you will get the total number of characters in the string and then you use, use a slice n minus 21 colon will give last 20 characters and try to print those characters. This is very straightforward and simple uh, program wherein we use a read method and then we get the length of the entire file contents and then we use a slice operator on the string to extract the last 20 characters. Uh, this is a similar program to extract the last 20 characters but here we are interested in to extract first 20 characters. Again we use a read method and then we use a straightforward uh, the slice colon 20 will extract the characters from 0 to 19 that is 20 characters and we can print the first 20 characters present in a plain text file. Let's write a program to copy the contents of one file to another file. What we have to do is we have to open two files. One is on read mode and another one on the write mode. And we use the for loop to read the contents of a source file line by line and upon reading each of the line, try to write the same line onto the destination file. This is the folder path of the folder where we have a source file as well as a destination file that we are interested in to create. This is the source file from text and we read the file name for the new file to be created and this is the path of the new file including the path specified for the destination file and open the source file that is from dot text in read mode and the new file onto the write mode and for each of the line present in the source file, directly write that line onto the destination file with the write method and finally you close the both the files. This is a simple uh, mechanism where you can copy the contents of one file to the another one. Here is a simple program to count the number of lines present in a text file. We open the file onto the read mode, open file by specifying the absolute or relative path, then initialize the counter to 0 and upon reading each of the line increment the count and finally you print the count, print the count that is nothing but the number of lines present in a text file. Let us summarize the discussion. In this video we wrote programs to read the files by opening a file on read write as well as append mode. We demonstrated the role of shelve and p print modules to save the contents of a variables as well as a primitive data structures onto files. Finally, we executed a simple programs on reading and writing as well as creating the text files.